we want to get as much feedback as possible, especially since you want to, you're really interested in kind of organizing your Gmail a little bit better. Um, that's going to kind of introduce you to, you know, areas where you can actually organize it a little bit better and also, um, you know, what the power of the calendar actually kind of introduces. I don't know if you guys have used your calendar before, but um, it's, it's a nice product and, uh, you know, there's a lot you can do with it in terms of like scheduling out events and, you know, scheduling out certain things. Um, have you guys played with that bet right before? Yeah. yeah. It's a way yeah. you can actually schedule events. Sure. Um, yeah. So if you're like popular. interested in scheduling a fundraiser and stuff like that, um, or events, um, they, uh, for the Urban Geek drinks, um, Justin Mass actually uses the bet right. Um, and that's for like everybody, you know, it's just kind of a notoriety of like, you know, if you want to charge for an event or if you want to, you know, have the event for free, you can kind of like select that. So it's almost like, a, in a sense, like kind of like a PayPal service, but um, but for like scheduling and things out. Um, it's really nice um, compared to like maybe just a Google, Google uh, Calendar shootout. Um, I actually prefer Eventbrite over Google Calendar, um, just trying to get, you know, everything up there and stuff like that. So. Um, <clears throat> This is kind of what we're looking at in terms of like threaded conversations and threaded conversations meaning, um, you know, how many emails can you actually send? I'm sure you guys have already seen this as it is. Um, you know, size already up there, you can actually already see them. Uh, <laughs> so the good thing about Google is, uh, you know, the threaded conversations will last up to how many you actually shoot out, whereas like maybe with Hotmail or Yahoo, you know, it just comes out every once in a while. So you can't really track the archive history or anything like that. Um, with Google with Gmail, you can actually do that. Um, and uh, it'll start to track, um, you know, you can go through the search tool and it'll track your information um, uh, in terms of like who sent out the email and who didn't send out the email. So if you type in like, uh, I think it's like from colon uh, and the name um, of the actual recipient or the, the person who sent the email um, up in the search tool, um, then you can actually track how many, where the email's coming from, how many emails have actually been sent from that person and stuff like that. Um, Again, the benefits of Gmail is it's a web-based email. Um, it's accessible from anywhere, so in terms of cloud technology, we've already kind of talked about that. It's got a large storage space, and I'm sure with a lot of emails these days, it's got, they all got large storage spaces. Um, so, um, you know, the archiving feature allows you to be, means you can actually keep it in your inbox without having to clean it out all the time. Um, and even when you delete an email accidentally, it'll, I think it's like up to about 30 days where it lets you stay in your trash can rather than just eliminating it all the way through as a whole. Um, and you can search anything, find anything really quickly just because of the interface that they actually have. Um, it's really clean, it's really nicely set up. Um, and it, it functions like a Google search engine tool, uh, which is really cool. Um, and uh, one of the reasons why I actually started to grow more custom to it rather than Hotmail or Yahoo.com is just because they don't have the ease of the actual access to get access to your uh, certain emails that you're really interested in. Um, this is kind of a tour of Gmail. Um, we, uh, what about the total storage capacity? Uh, I think it's up to the gigs now. Um, I remember before it was about 300 megabytes, um, but I think it's actually up to about uh, 10 gigabytes or something like that. I know it's it's extreme now. Um, I don't know how many gigabytes. You'll uh, just have to look at your Gmail account. But, are you uh, archive emails part of that? So yeah, storage. they do, they do. And uh, what's ironic is, uh, you know, I'm about to go through labels, which is kind of a form of um, archiving emails. Um, so this is the way we actually have our Gmail set up uh, with color coding and, uh, you know, our names and stuff like that. So I have my first name, Michael, uh, as part of Anton Tech and Anthony, um, and even Joe's up there. So um, whenever one person needs to respond to an email, we can actually pay attention to that. And if we do a, a search uh, type in the, in the email, the label, that specific label that you're actually doing, that search tool will actually pop up with uh, all those emails that you uh, label uh, or decided to label. So um, as you can see on the left-hand side, that's um, kind of the feature where we kind of set it up. Um, if you click on more, um, it'll actually take you to your label section. Um, okay. So. Uh,